This is Mr. C Biology. Today we're looking at lipid digestion and in particular chylomicrons. This is A-level biology for AQA specification. We've got a couple of biological molecules we've looked at. Triglycerides and phospholipids. Triglycerides with three fatty acid tails. Phospholipids with two fatty acid tails and the phosphate group. Remember they're joined by ester bonds in a condensation reaction. Lipase the enzyme that would digest these lipids would be a hydrolysis reaction to break the ester bond so it would need water and it results in a monoglyceride so a glycerol and one fatty acid tail and then the other fatty acid tails would be left like that in an aqueous environment in the digestive system these reform into structures called micelles they're associated with bile salts and then around the outside we've got the monoglycerides and in the center we've got the fatty acid tails. Why do they form structures like this? Well the fatty acid tails are hydrophobic and water hating so they associate in the middle and around the outside we've got the hydrophilic water loving heads and again with the bile salts. I've made this look quite a big structure but in effect it's very very small and the lipids being lipid soluble can move by simple diffusion so they don't need any channel proteins it's non-polar lipid soluble so it can diffuse through the phospholipid bilayer quite simply and the lipid elements can enter the cell the bile salts dissociate and off they go so this is a single cell from a villus in the ileum and those fatty acids and monoglycerides will reform in the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum has got a job of lipid metabolism and would reform a triglyceride and it would package it into a vesicle and the vesicle would be transported to the Golgi. In the Golgi we've got the job of modification and we would add proteins to the triglycerides to form a structure called a chylomicron. It can also include the addition of cholesterol and this chylomicron this triglyceride and protein structure is large and would also need transporting in a vesicle and there's the chylomicrons inside the vesicle would move to the surface of the cell and then the chylomicrons would be released by exocytosis and the chylomicrons enter the lacteal which is part of the lymphatic vessel for transportation away. So that's the digestion of lipids and the formation of chylomicrons. It involves lots of different things if you're thinking about this from a year 13 point of view for your essay. You've got transport of substances and molecules, we've got the role of membranes with membrane here, exocytosis and vesicles, all surrounded by membranes. We've got biological molecules, we've got the role of enzymes and lipase, and also the different roles of different organelles within the cell. Okay, enjoy.